Welcome back to our Express Special at the Vancouver Magazine Restaurant Awards. One of the sweetest categories is going to one of the sweetest and most sincere chefs in our city. He was recently named Top 10 Chocolatier by Dessert Professional Magazine, and now he's Vancouver Magazine's Pastry Chef of the Year. You know him for his chocolates, but this year, the sweetest man on the Vancouver dessert scene, Thomas Haas, has been crowned Pastry Chef of the Year. It's an honor. I think it's also a tribute to the people we work with, you know, which is the essence of our of our business and what makes me come to work every day. We have the layering on the inside in the evening. And he's got almost 40 people that he shares his pastry kitchen with, teaching, creating, and most importantly, working alongside them. I enjoy of uh, knowing if it's busy out there, I'd be the person who makes the cappuccinos. One cappuccino and a double baked almond croissant. And if it's Easter time, I help making the eggs. You prepare the caramel for the strawberries. Yes. And if it's uh, Christmas time, I make the Christmas bread with the stuff. Can you show me how to make the fruit danish? Trust is a huge thing and, and I have that and I have that in everybody we work with and that's why I feel so close to everybody. Yeah, I do, do one and a quarter instead. He is, one word, crazy. Like crazy in a good way. He expects the best out of us. He is very energetic, very high energy. But he's, um, he's great at um, encouraging us. Then I will later on help you rolling. Yep. And we get on it together. And Kathy. Yeah. And inspiring us to learn more and be creative about um, desserts and be more passionate about what we do. That's why we're in this business, right? His cafe in North Vancouver can see over a thousand customers a day, and so Thomas works with staff members to create new recipes almost every week. It's his way of continuing to grow. In the mainstream world, it has always something to do with getting bigger, bigger. For us, we want to grow in getting better, in getting more versatile, and getting better as a business, and getting better as we work with the people we work with. We want to make this the best place to work. We want to make this the best place to come to, and the best place we can be. I'm Aaron Shaw in North Vancouver for The Express. Yeah, it has to taste good first. Thomas is so well known at the North Van location that some patrons specifically ask for him to make their cappuccinos. And he always does it if he has the time. You know, personality goes a long way in this business. So does originality, dedication and drive. All qualities that shine in the Vancouver Magazine 2011 Chef of the Year. Seared tiger prawn, arctic char, and crab stuffed ravioli bathed in an absinthe bisque for Nico Sherman's unique is what Shambar does best. Because we never do things twice, that's one thing. We just, we never reproduce something that's been done before. We always try to change it and do it in our way. Which means you'll be hard pressed to find seared scallops and pickled green bean salad anywhere else. Exclusive flavors Shambar patrons can appreciate. But it almost never was. Back in 2004, Nico could barely scrape together the cash to open Shambar's doors. It's insane because you, you're so deep in, you're like, you own already $300,000 to people, but you, own, you also need 150 more that nobody's willing to give you because why would I give you money if you'd never done it before? Just because you know how to cook? At one point, Nico didn't even have enough money to buy ingredients for the restaurant. I thought that like, if, it, if it really turns into bad story and I own a lot of money, there's no way I can pay it off. I will pay the family, but it's, you know, I'm going to have to leave. I'm going to run away from this. Fortunately, it never came to that. Friends, family and investors pitched in so that Nico could put 100% of his passion back into the food. It's a lamb shank tagine that we've been having on the menu since day one. His attention to detail, the way the balance with the food on your palate, uh, and he's brave. He just takes the risks and, you know, doesn't mind that we can do 500 covers a night with excellent food. Moving forward, Nico says he'll continue to push the boundaries of Belgian cuisine, inspiring others who have a dream to do whatever it takes to make it happen. It's like you got to follow your guts in that point. Like if you know that this is, is right, and it's, then go for it. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. Shambar's most popular dish, still the mussels. Cooked three ways, served with French fries, a Belgian classic. You're watching our express special on the 2011 Vancouver Magazine Restaurant Awards. And here's a look at a few more winners.
Of the year. A wonderful, uh, inexpensive, northern Italian sort of family style dining. The Express. This is your local voice. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by. Makeup services for Shaw TV, provided by Beauty Mark. City. That's why this next category means so much. Introducing the 2011 winner of Best New. And the gold award goes to Valve. Thank you, and um, so beyond happy to, to actually be winning something finally. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised. Yeah, I came here, you know, with the hopes of winning and to be here just to support my my fellow colleagues to and then, then and then we won it's been open for just over a year and the concept is always just to provide people with really good Chinese food without the MSG organic sustainable seafood but in a comfortable atmosphere So you won best new, you won best small plates, you won best design. Like, how does that feel? I haven't had time to di digest it, actually, <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations. The other thing, too, um, you got fairly emotional talking about best design. Yeah. So just speak to that for a moment, how, why that's yeah. so important to you. I mean, I knew the restaurant side of things, you know, I knew I could do it. But the way I wanted it to look and the way I wanted it to project to the public was very important to me because it was very personal. It wasn't just just a restaurant it was like my life you know my culture Chinatown you know there's pictures of my my family from when they were little children so it meant something and it, it's very very personal so I'm really happy that people didn't just find it you know run of the mill that they actually came in there looked at it and appreciated all the details and you know they appreciated it so it meant a lot to me to win that the way that Bao Bay looks is, is it comes directly from my my heart directly. So I I'm happy that I that other people appreciate it and can understand it and, and love it as much as I do. Congratulations again to all of the 2011 Vancouver Magazine Restaurant Award winners. Best new chef of the year, lifetime achievement, and more. But have we missed one of the big ones? What about restaurant of the year? In 2008, a small Italian place opened on the west side, and it has been buzzing ever since. La Quercia. I guess basically back to work tomorrow and uh, keep pushing on. So it feels really amazing. I might have one extra cocktail today. The glitz and glam of the awards is a far cry from the 4th Avenue restaurant. From the street, you can barely make out the sun. 
But tucked away is a small restaurant called La Quercha. Quaint in space, but big in flavor. Here I'm doing the amatrichana, so this is all the uh, cured pork cheek. We wanted a place um, that was sort of reflective of how we felt about food. Uh, simple, good ingredients, uh, sort of <laughs> delicious. We both have our special sides. He does a lot of proteins and I do the pastas and we both come together for the desserts and the, uh, the starters. And a little gastrique as a sauce there for you. La Quercia's win represents the way Vancouverites want to eat today. This 32-seat family-style restaurant has a two-month waiting list. Gary Ross. Vancouver Magazine's Gary Stephen Ross isn't surprised. A wonderful uh, inexpensive, northern Italian, sort of family-style dining. So the judges this year decided that we ought to have two uh, categories of restaurant. Best formal, best informal. La Quercia beat out big name Blue Water Cafe for the top prize. They bring a kind of authentic Italian experience. Those who don't want to wait to get a table at La Quercia can get a taste at their newest venture, La Guianda. It's just the next step. It's even more simpler food than, than we have here, and we, uh, it's really what we like to eat at home, and thought that uh, people would appreciate that sort of food, so uh, that's, it's a daytime thing. Yeah. This is Duncan. He's a part of our kitchen. At uh, La Guianda, we have uh, definitely our paninis, composed salads, uh, our soups, and uh, we run three sort of main dishes, which could range from uh, northern style trout or uh, chicken stew with chickpeas. Well, we wanted to find a somewhat equally hard to pronounce Italian word. It's called the acorn, so uh, or the translation of Lagianda is the acorn. La Quercia means oak tree, so it's fitting the solid restaurant where the menu changes frequently and ingredients are paramount has an equally solid friendship at the heart of it. I don't think there's anyone that could fill Luke's shoes and, and likewise for myself with the way that it works together. His lovely smile, but other than that, uh, okay. he's a fantastic person to, to work with. His dedication to the craft is, um, I don't think you find too many people uh, with that enthusiasm. So. I look forward to seeing you all later. In Vancouver, I'm Melanie Panetta for The Express. Now that they've won Restaurant of the Year, you can bet the wait for La Quercia will be months long. And you can bet it will be well worth it. Now you can get a full list and full reviews in the May edition of Vancouver Magazine and also online. Thanks for watching The Express and happy dining.